Sanchez a teen idol in the 80s with a hard midlife crisis. This is his story. Born from a family of German doctors in Teotihuacan, Mexico, Benjamin was a ladies man since he was very young. In the early 80s, Sanchez was a manly man known for his many championships in motocross. He was married to his high school sweetheart, Susana Oria, for 20 years. Well, Benjamin, more than 20 years together. We got married when we were very, very young. I was his high school sweetheart, and he was my one and only. We traveled the whole world. I was always behind him, supporting him in his uh, championships. After a while, we got three beautiful kids, Soila, Paco, and Yesenia. Life was great for this Casanova, getting divorced from his Oria and now dating a much younger woman, Mexican Tequila Harris, Estefania de la Riva Montaner. And suddenly he changed me for an uptown, tacky, blondie girl, a rich one, and it took me a while to realize that he was actually a player. He was a very wild beast in bed. He was a true machine, energetic. I, I remember those times. He was a real source of happiness for a true lady like me and many others. Little did Sanchez knew his life as a playboy was about to deflate. Midlife crisis would hit him hard, very hard, and his performance was not as it used to be. Les voy a platicar cómo conocí a Benjamin Sánchez. Fuimos a las Islas Bora Bora a festejar mi cumple. Cuando de repente lo vi y uff, de esas veces que sientes que estás viendo al hombre de tu vida. Todo iba increíble, se los juro. Pero de repente, no sé qué pasó en la relación, que todo decayó. Ustedes me entienden, ¿no? Una mujer necesita un hombre que la haga sentir. Y con Benjamín, algo está fallando. No me cumple. Ustedes saben, ¿no? A qué me refiero. His problem was getting bigger. It was not a secret anymore that Sanchez was less needle and more noodle. If you know what I mean. When Miss Estefania met Mr. Sanchez, every night has a lot of activity in the room. Miss Estefania was so happy. But lately, they fight every night. From the room, you can hear Miss Estefania say, Again? What's wrong with you? And Mr. Sanchez said, Please, please, be patient. He will rise. Please understand me. Dios mío. Yo no sé. Sanchez was feeling depressed. He didn't want to admit it, but he had a problem. It was not until he talked to his old-time friend and Baywatch playboy, Benito Camela, for advice. I know Benjamin since many years ago, man. We were old-time friends. And man, I've never seen him like that, you know? He, he, he couldn't even get the rocket to the moon, raise the flag, score the goal, if, if you know what I mean, you know? Well, anyway, anyway, he was so depressed, I told him, Dude, you should see a specialist. You should, you should try go to, to a doctor or whatever. So I recommended him, you should go to the, this German hardy, Dr. Helga Hardenwurst. Yeah, if someone could help him with the rising problem, it would be her, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Although it took some time, he decided to visit an expert. Uh, Herr Sanchez came to my office to seek information for erectile dysfunction. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was surprised he was very well informed uh, regarding this issue, uh, so we discussed it very openly. Uh, he was a very charming man. In fact, we developed a very close relationship, professional, of course. And while discussing all the options that we can, that he could try, I suggested Cialis. And the next day, I received this uh, beautiful gift with uh, the note that said, I am back, 
life was getting back in track. Thanks to a small peel with a faster action and less secondary effects, Cialis was the solution to his problem. Cialis, muchas gracias por devolverme al Benjamín que yo conocí y con él mi felicidad. Thank you, Cialis. Thanks to Cialis, I'm back on my game. But be sure to ask your doctor before. Cialis, the pill that is changing men's life and getting them back in the game. Benjamin Sanchez, a man that lost it all and got it back up again.